Hi guys, today I'd like to show you our upcoming data grid component, which will be a part of Tornado FX 156. So to demo this, I've created a, a small uh, data service, which basically has two functions that returns uh, two lists of strings. So this kitten list will return a list of URL strings and the numbers list just uh, returns a, a list of uh, numbers spelled out as strings. So we will create a basic data grid with the numbers first. So data grid and give it the numbers. This is actually all we need to, to create the most basic data grid possible. What we get then is a, a cell of a default cell size uh, for each of the, the items in the list. By default, we also have a single selection active. To change that into a multiple selection, we can uh, simply say multi-select is true. Using shift, we can uh, select more cells at once and using control, we can uh, pick on and off individual cells as well. Now, using multi-select might seem like a bit uh, uh, untraditional, but what it does under the covers is actually calling the selection model's selection mode and setting it to the, you know, the normal selection mode single. Uh, it's uh, implemented uh, in a way so you can actually say multi-select false to get single select, or you can say single, single select false to get multi-select. Uh, that's because I, I created these as um, you know a, a boolean variable. So let's try to change up this uh, boring list of numbers. We will uh, keep this fancy setting, and then we will uh, override the cell format. So we will set the graphic node of each cell to be a stack pane this time, and inside the stack pane we'll create a circle. The circle will have a radius of 50 pixels and uh, we'll set the fill color to be, uh, let's say, dark green or something, maybe forest green, like this. So after that, we'll add a label with the actual number. So these should stack on top of each other now. Cool. Worked as expected. So numbers are cool, but kittens are even cooler. So let's change this to be a list of kittens instead. <clears throat> and uh, now we'd like to show the kitten. So we'll create an image view. So we'll pass it the URL and we'll say true to have uh, the images lazy loaded. Now this will work, but it will uh, present a number of problems. First of all, uh, the the cell format function is uh, will, will be called a lot of times, so we'll be creating these images over and over again. So if I click now, you see something weird happens on select. Also, when I resize, it will take some time before the images comes back. So to fix that, we will uh, change cell format into to cell cache and we'll remove graphic. So what this does is actually creating this only once per key and automatically assigning it to uh, the graphic node of the cell. Now this can actually be combined with uh, cell format as well. Uh, so when I enter the cell format function, the graphic will already be our uh, image view. So we can do uh, some more dynamic post-processing there, but we, we can um, avoid having to recreate the image view all the time. So if we run it like this, now it will be much more performant, as you can see. Now we run into another problem, and that is that uh, I click, but it doesn't seem that we, we get a selection. Now, actually, we do, we do get a selection, but we chose to, to put this uh, image uh, uh, in a way so it, uh, it covers the whole cell. So one way to deal with that would, of course, be to, uh, to change the cell width and height so it's bigger. Uh, 
uh, we will probably see the selection again. But it might not be what we want. So uh, we'll try to style this uh, a bit. So I have a style sheet here. We will say that whenever a data grid cell is selected, we will change the opacity to 0.7, for example. Now we need to include this style sheet. And I have a, an application set up here that basically says start this view and include this style sheet. So we can run this instead of just the view as I did earlier. Now you can see the, the opacity is working as well. So this grid is, um, it has selection and multiple selection and it seems to be working great, but uh, it's in, in the early stages. So uh, uh, as I understand more of the internal JavaFX APIs, we'll continue to add features like, uh, um, like keyboard control, uh, better focus uh, support and, and stuff like that. Um, this is also the first time I created a, a selection model. So uh, um, I don't know if the, it, my approach is, uh, is great, but it seems to be working good for now at least. And I try to avoid using listeners. So it, it seems to be very performant actually. Okay, so uh, this will uh, be available in the upcoming uh, Tornado FX 156. Hope you enjoy it.